normally I just piece out through this area. Yeah, so we can do this now. Pretty sure on Leon's campaign after this, you pick up the key card and Mr. X reappears, but it's like, didn't we see him get torn in half in her once? Solution. Yeah. Does that mean it's Rotoon, I guess. College was a weird time for me. Everyone was high except me, and I was just like, yo. So much for the weed infestation. Dead end. Yeah. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous, dangerous solution without authorization. Great. Your actions have been locked, and you may be subject to disciplinary measures. <laughs> oh. Three things. Three because it didn't work on you. Normally in Leon's campaign, this works to be. Ah, fucking hell! <laughs> what the fuck? No! This is a safe space. We don't use these uh, actions in our safe space. Oh. That may have taken some months off of my life. What the fuck? That I've never seen. Gonna breathe. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't like those fucks, and when they do that, I double don't like. Fucking dicks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> High priority, increased security. When are you gonna mess with spies? Haha, <laughs> pump. Step up security. Da -da -da -da. Error reply. Herbicide disposal. You're getting fired. Doesn't matter, we're all dead. Haha, <laughs> puns. Not really a pun. <clears throat> so, yeah, you're done with this area. <clears throat> if, if you didn't work out. <coughs> um, you're done with this wing anyway. Mm, let's just move this here. Let's move this here. Got a line to work with, it should be fun. The other wing is not as big as you would be led to believe, so don't worry about it. And that was pretty short actually, that was about an hour and a bit. And that's me doing it the long way without the cheat sheet. Uh, yeah, so um, college was weird, all of my friends were mad. There was one kid who was like always telling people he's rich, but he was actually just about the same. Middle, uh, like upper working class, lower middle class as the rest of us, and he used to just carry coins, and if we were like, oh, we don't have any money, do you have any spare change? He just like throw coins at people at an aggressive speed. Like, and he was just like, Jesus, man. And then he would just bought like 400 cookies and was just like, yeah, man, I'm just gonna like 400 cookies, and you know, we were just like, so you could just gonna, like, what, it was actually like 20 cookies during a boycott just to fuck with people and we were all like, oh well that was nice of you and he was like, yeah, and I'm just gonna eat all of them and I'm like, oh and he didn't give any of them on anything look, something broke this door, how spoopy Oos. do 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 College was weird, man. Someone took a smoke grenade from paintballing and just set it off and lobbed it into a plate, uh, into like the fields and stuff where everyone needs to chill. 
sometimes I would just skip classes because they made us do general studies. Um, we were like, general studies. I just scraped through general studies in the first year, and then everyone was like, oh, well, what they didn't tell us is if you fail general studies, they don't make you take it next year. And I was like, fuck! So I just skipped general studies for the next year. You don't have to study for general studies. General studies is you sit there and... Um, They try and guess what's going to be on the thing, and it could literally be anything. So they just go, we're just going to do a presentation on what's in the news. Discuss. And they're just trying to give you core skills on discussing the news and understanding that most of it's fake and most of it's designed to cause people massive anxiety attacks for some reason and also just to make everyone feel terrible about their life choices or something. It's not fun, either way. Uh, do I need herbs? I need to rearrange this. But we're gonna watch the vid. The verse. Oh, it's digital video. Excuse me. This is William Birkin. It looks like he has some sort of kidney problem. If you look at like the way his body's built, he looks like he's got really blurry kidneys. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. You think I didn't know you were coming? This is my life's work! I'm not handing over anything! We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. <laughs> I mean, he probably wouldn't have been able to take anybody down with such right, gun, but... but... we had a snafu. Target resisted if we had to take him out. That's correct, sir. Roger that. Just the samples, then. I mean, he was clearly not going to come along with them and test them. Let's move! This out. Take this out. And just sort this out a second. This is just a mess. Let's go over here. This. I can keep this. Uh, I need that. I need this now. I don't think so anyway. Yes, I am preparing for something. Yeah, college was a weird time, a very weird time. <laughs> Spent most of my time listening to Black Sabbath, Ozzy Osbourne, early era Metallica, and Megadeth, and never getting laid. <laughs> just hitting on girls and them all going, yeah, I don't really get with you, no offense. And you just being like, mm. and them all getting boyfriends and me being like, wow, I'm super unpopular. Then getting a girlfriend who actually work, uh, was working with me at the Starbucks at the time. I was like five years older than me. Um, that's annoying. The excess is annoying. I uh, don't need the flash, I don't think. Got quite a lot of shiz here. Let's take the boards, man. Might need them. I should do it, shouldn't it? Let's look at some email. the rest. They literally said to him, well done, your G's really good. We're going to take care of it from now. They literally sort of talked to him uh, about saying, oh, like, you're under suspicious of breaching your contract with, ah, oh, see, this is where it goes. So he tries to give. It to an unknown 
our company is the most well-funded in the whole of the United States. And they, he tries to give it to somebody else, right? And this is the Umbrella Corporation decides to cease research. Then he goes, I'm going to go and put it for somebody else, going to sell it to the highest bidder. So he's not a good person. He's selling bioweapons to unknown companies. And, um, uh, you know, some people are like, um, oh, fuck, don't do this to me again. Is it really? Ugh. Drops, drops, man. There's just more editing for me to be doing. At least it's only short, you know. Anyway, get back to the law. Um, strange that you never thought to report to the research lab, but I'll let it slide. So he tells a guy within Umbrella about G, and he says that so he reaches out to this guy and says, "Oh yeah, that, you know," and he was planning on selling it. And then that guy obviously tells somebody and says, "You're under suspicion of breaching your contract." It's become clear that you've claimed ownership of G and have been in unauthorized contact with the US military. So, who's at fault here? Is Umbrella really evil? Probably for allowing it to ever happen, but they're a pharmaceutical company, so probably shouldn't be working on bioweapons if you're a pharmaceutical company. And if you find a member of your staff doing that, you probably shouldn't be employing them anymore or allowing them to be left on their own. Then they talk to a US military out outfit and they're trying to sell it. You can see why Umbrella were kind of like, okay, sir, we're just going to go ahead and say that you're not allowed to have this anymore. <laughs> um, and then he's like, no, it's mine. That's why he got shot. Now we've all worked it out. Just a case of checking who's the sender and who's listening to that. So we got this. room though. Reminds me of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, the room with all the brains in. Metal Gear Rising was awesome. It was the first action, character action game I picked up and actually played properly. I played a demo of Devil May Cry 4 when it first came out, the standard edition, and was like, I don't get it, and was like that guy, and was that, like, because I never played them before. So they're talking about T-virus here as well as G. So they've got embryo growth, breeding rate, T-virus. And this is G that we've been fighting up until now. So T-virus was in RE1, wasn't it? How weird. There's another save point. And a load of stuff that could be somewhat useful. weird when a survival horror game does that, isn't it? Oh, god damn. <laughs> like, there's more. Oh, no blue herb. I don't really need the blue herb. There's, oh, there's a red herb we can, uh, we can mix the red herb with something. Yeah, if you know and play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, I really enjoyed that. I super enjoyed and would often just go back and replay the Jetstream Sam section. Never, I think I only played through Blade Wolf once. I didn't really get on with it the same. Uh, save again, because otherwise I'll do something wrong. Uh, yeah. It's awesome. Jetstream Sam is awesome. I really thought he was a cool character. I just think the whole vibe is really cool. Uh, it gives Raiden something that actually means. And in that era, everyone's like, if you told me Raiden was going to be cooler than Dante at this point, because the DMC came out. I think it's supposed to fail us. Damn it. Uh, 
damn it. <sighs> Why she would give her child to infect with the virus is, is like right. ridiculous. <laughs> that one of us. Only, yeah. only Sherry. Got it. Yeah. Don't take the other ones. Oh, thank God. Even though there's the antiviral agent. There's like gotta two get back to Sherry. And a, like some boxes. Oh yeah, we didn't look at the horrific. If your lab has shit like this in it, it's probably a sign that your lab's doing something pretty dank. Okay, so we're gonna do this in a minute. <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah, Revengeance is cool. First action uh, game like it that I played, like the character action. Played the demo of um, Fall when it first came out, didn't really like it, then went back and played the special. I was like, oh, I'll try it now, I'll play Virgil on Bloody Palace and stuff. And so, actually, I really fucking love it. God, my pants are really sturdy. What the hell is this thing? That was my husband. <laughs> she is my creation! I should have killed him while I had the chance. Zing. I don't know why, I just I couldn't do it. He was your husband. Honestly, we were more married to our work than each other. What about Sherry? Scientists How could you just leave her all alone? The Raccoon City burned to hell. I couldn't let my daughter grow up in a world with a G-virus in it. But that's no excuse I got this. You got this. I'm the one with the armor. Sands. 
sauce. Uh, Target 
and shoot this gun. So not much point running ahead because then there's a lot of stuff that happens and then there's a lot of other stuff that happens and if you use a lot of stuff in this fight, you might as well just grab any stuff that you have lying around. So, especially as there was all the stuff I could have used. A lot of hang going on. Service lift is now operational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, character action games are something that you shouldn't be sleeping on if you've not ever played things like them, uh, because they're actually really good. And for the longest part of time I was just like, man, I'm just not really getting on with this. Um, oh god, everything. These are uh, like, I'm not ashamed to say that like, well, you know, people always are, oh, you know, but it's just uh, my personal opinion. When I first picked up Devil May Cry 4, I was just like, this feels weird and alien to me and clunky and slow, and I just didn't like it. And that's just my personal opinion at the time. Nowadays, I can play them and be like, yeah, this is I really get back good to Sherry. Sherry, gotta get to Sherry. Sherry, gotta get to Sherry. Sherry. Savo. Savo. Eh? I'm blind. Oh, is there not one here? Whatever. There'll be a Savo. Gotta get back to Sherry. Sherry, gotta get to Sherry. Sherry, gotta get to Sherry. Gotta get the balloon. East. We're never going back east. Going to the north. Apparently, fucks us south. Oh. 